Hi, I'm Cyrus Pattinson and you're watching Sport Night Bombs. Graham, good to see you. It's good to see you. This is a hell of a gym you've got here, mate. Thank you. Now, this is uh, arguably the best amateur gym in the country, certainly in the North East. But uh, what's the, uh, the secret to getting all like, these uh, champions and all these medalists as amateur? And then, of course, you've got like, um, a good crop like, are coming through pros now. Just dedication and hard work. Being lucky with the kids that's come in the gym, that they've got talent, natural athletes. Uh, and just a dedication and hard work from them and the parents bring them every night. Uh, it's basically it. Now, how many amateurs um, have you had like a come through here who's like a won like a Commonwealth and Europeans and obviously you've got like a uh, um, the Olympians uh, like recently? Uh, I've had five European champions, uh, two world champions. Uh, the clubs had 271 champions, had 260. Uh, amateurs had Olympic silver, Commonwealth Games gold, Commonwealth Games bronze. Uh, we've had, uh, I think, seven European bronze medalists and three European silver medalists. So, um, and uh, who in your gym right now do you think could be like uh, the next star coming through the amateurs? Jack Dryden's looking pretty good. Yeah, we've got a few good kids there. There's uh, Jack Dryden, Sean Norris, Lee Rogers, Cameron Vaughan. Uh, Brandon Morrison, uh, he'll be in the elites this year, uh, and we've got like a really, really good crop, first good crop we've had for a long time of uh, schoolboys, uh, nine, ten year old, uh, had a bit of a clear out, uh, make room for them coming through. System was getting a bit clogged by people that weren't dedicated, so we had a bit of a clear out, and uh, it's going to be exciting times for the schoolboys, juniors, and youths over the next uh, five years. Uh, we've got uh, another good kid, Mitchell. Uh, he looks like he's going to be a standout kid. Now, speaking of the amateurs, what's your thoughts on uh, the Olympics potentially uh, pulling boxing from 28 and they may even pull it from 24 as well? Uh, it'll be a shame, but it'll not be a surprise. Uh, Corruption. It's very corrupt. Uh, and. It's just getting a bit farcical in us, uh, with the women's weight classes and the men's weight classes and that. Uh, it's just a mess, really. Somebody strong needs to get in, uh, shake it all up, and uh, get boxing the back what it is. But I don't think you'll ever do it because you've got Eastern Bloc countries, uh, and then you've got the European countries. And when you get up there, it's more or less decided who's getting the medal. Yeah, I'll definitely hear that one. Definitely hear that one. Now, whenever I speak to like a people up here from the northeast, like a, like a, like a Tommy Ward, Thomas Hodgson, Joe Laws, George O'Connor, the list goes on and on and on. They always look at Berkeley as that was the place that made me. Yeah, well, that's nice. Yeah, they can have like uh, change from his life. Uh, I'm pleased to think that way. Coaches, not just me, it's, uh, Stevie Freeman, Mark Dickinson. Uh, Sean Zard, Mark, Martin Clark, uh, Jacob Dickinson. Uh, so it's not just me. It's all a good team. Uh, Roy Morrison, good team. Uh, we all work hard. Well, that seems to be the thing. Um, it is about working hard. It is about staying dedicated. It's like a, your style is, um, well, it'll either make you or break you. And if it makes you, you're going to be a hell of a fighter. Yeah, well, I think if it doesn't make you in the boxing ring, it'll make you in life. Uh, I've had plenty of kids that haven't done so well with the boxing and they've done they've been successful in life. Right. I think uh, whatever you want to be, you've got to be hard working and dedicated to whatever you want to do. Whether it's working in an office or boxing or football or just going into the factory every day. If you want to be, if you've got to make yourself the best that you can be. Now we've got uh, Cyrus, he's he, he's gonna be headlining in the arena yeah. in uh, um, Newcastle. You're not a Geordie are you? You're not a black and white, you're a red and white aren't you? Yeah, I go to the Newcastle matches with my mates sometimes though. Uh, and they're playing good football at the moment, they're doing well. Sunderland's a bit like, uh, it's a bit like the boxing really, it's a bit chaotic <laughs> and poorly run. But hopefully somebody can shake them up. Uh, I've got some good kids in, good kids there, so hopefully in a couple of years' time they'll mature and men will do well. So do you think that uh, like uh, uh, Cyrus and Callum and um, all like, like your other lads, 
they've got the potential to go on to actually bring world titles back to this gym. Yeah, well, I would hope, but uh, under no illusions uh, that the pro boxing is a business, it's not a sport. Uh, so a lot of it will depend on how many tickets they can sell and whether we get any uh, sky and things like that up here to promote the boxing. Uh, if you can be like the home fight, they've got half a chance. Uh, the March 18 shows a good opportunity for them to show the uh, zone match room how many tickets they actually can sell that are worth investing in and worth putting money on the table for uh, to invest in for the, for the careers. Uh, they've got the talent, need a little bit of luck. Uh, injury free. God will, will do it. Now your gym is um, always open um, to any kid who wants to come in here and like a try boxing, even if it's just for fitness. Yeah, on uh, Tuesday and Thursday we we'll have uh, fitness classes for uh, kids five or six. Uh, it's very non-contact, but we use that for two things. We use it to try and promote uh, health in the community and also. If there's any talented kids in there, we'll try to encourage them to go on the next class up. Some of them do, some of them don't. Some of them make the step up, some of them cannot. And then, you know, if they don't want to do it, they'll just go back to another class and they'll just continue to come down and be part of the club, keep fit. Now, you've been involved in boxing for like a long old time. Is it nice to actually see that the North East is starting to get some recognition? It's become like a bit of a hot spot for boxing now. Yeah, but I think... Uh, it hasn't reached anywhere near its full potential. Uh, there's a lot of good kids out there, there's a lot of talented kids out there in the North East. Uh, and I think, kind of see this, it's been swamped with, swamped with shite uh, for quite a lot of years, but now you're starting to see the cream come through. Uh, and if, as long as the big promoters come up here, uh, they'll promote the cream, and obviously, because they promote the cream, the standards of boxing in the North East will rise. People will, people will see the good lads boxing on the doorstep, and they want to emulate them, they want to emulate the style. So, it'll only be good for boxing in the North East. Uh, but, like I say, I don't think we've reached anywhere near what we can achieve in the North East. Now, I was with you guys uh, for Ben Reese's debut. He got that head clash and obviously the change room getting stitched up. But uh, he's now got a new date now, hasn't he? For uh, March 4th now it's been changed to. Yeah, yeah, it's been changed for March the 4th. But I'm a bit apprehensive whether the show will actually go ahead uh, with what's went on with the promotional company. Hopefully it does. Because they can see whatever they want now. But we're good for boxing. Uh, the wages were lifted. Yeah, people who wanted to sign the good fighters had to put more money down, so it was good for the boxers, you know what I mean? Because yeah, quite often the boxers are the ones that's making the least amount of money, and the pros, the promoters, are the ones that's taking all the, all the gravy. So on March the 18th, you've got uh, three of your lads, you've got uh, Mark Dickinson, you've got uh, Cyrus Patterson and uh, Callum French, so it's going to be a busy night for you. Yeah, looking forward to it, will be draining, physically, mentally. Uh, like I say, it's what the North East needs. Hopefully, uh, they can all put on good performances. Hopefully, they can all get wins. Uh, most importantly, hopefully, they showcase the talent. Places jam-packed and match them want to come back up. And that can only be good for the boxing. And if that happens, uh, we'll be fighting for big titles on the warm soil. And that can only be good. Totally concur that. All right, Graham, uh, thanks very much for having me into your gym. It's, it's a good seeing you again and uh, to see all the, uh, the lads and the girls and that here. Fantastic gym, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you.